Well, three decades have passed and still no word of Sherry Warren's whereabouts. Her family presumes she's dead, but they are still searching for answers, they say. For every crime, there's a story in The Truth Matters. Here's ABC 4's Marcos Ortiz with tonight's Justice Files. October 2nd, 1985, that was the last day anyone saw or heard from Cherie Warren. Officially, police are saying this is a missing persons case and there's no evidence of a murder, but her father suspects that she was. I tell him that God's watching over him. Our Heavenly Father's watching over his mother. Words that in 1992 offered comfort to Cherie Warren's son. A memorial headstone sits in an Ogden cemetery for Warren, who still remains missing in 2019. She was training to be a manager in one of their credit unions, and she disappeared from that spot as far as we were concerned. She was supposed to pick up her husband. But Warren never made it to her ex-husband's home. Her car was found abandoned in Las Vegas a month later. Her then boyfriend, a former Ogden police officer, Carrie Hartman, became a suspect in Warren's disappearance, but he had an alibi. Yet Warren's father was always suspicious of Hartman and claims his father was at Hartman's place that night. He says two school teachers lived above Hartman's basement apartment and they eventually went to police. A year later, they went to police with the story that they had heard a, an argument going on. They had heard a thud and then no more sound. It was all circumstantial and Hartman was never charged. But two years later, the former police officer was convicted of raping several women. At his 2005 parole hearing, Hartman admitted to also raping Warren but the evidence was lost at the crime lab. There was more. Hartman also agreed to tell authorities about Warren's disappearance, but then he changed his mind and wouldn't talk. He might have been tormenting my wife, not me. He says he wouldn't allow Hartman the satisfaction of knowing they were heartbroken. For years, Roy police investigated Warren's disappearance, but the case has since turned cold. Sure, I'd love to know what happened, but I don't think we'll ever find out. But he says one person does know where his daughter is. His wife passed away a few years ago. He says Mary is now with Cherie. By the way, Hartman's parole hearing is scheduled for later this month. For the Justice Files, Marcus Ortiz, ABC4 News.